So you want to go to Chuck E. Cheese, but your parents always told you not to throw the Gorgonzola. Hey guys, I'm Methods by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back once again taking a look at how I made this cool little comic, um, which I wanna. I've always kind of wanted to make comics, even if they're like you know simple one-page comics. I just always thought they were really really cool, and I never really got too into it. But today I made an extremely simple comic just to do something that was in the way of a comic, you know, to get myself started in it, you know what I mean? Um, so, it's just literally a three-panel ordeal of this guy, you know, sleeping, and then the, his alarm goes off, and his phone dies, and then he goes back to sleep, which is, you know, happens to me all the time. So, um, <laughs> that's the reason I came up with it. But, the biggest thing that I want, I want to talk about is, I mean, obviously the way that it, I created it, but the thing that is really, really cool to me that I wanted to share was a lot of the times when we draw things, especially if you're using a drawing tablet, people are always like, oh, pressure sensitivity, this and that, whatever else. And a lot of the times you'll have um, lines that like your, your line art will be like the, the size of the line will, you know, change depending on how hard you press or how soft you press on your drawing tablet or you know whatever you're using for this comic i really wanted to use a very very consistent line thickness so i have no uh pressure sensitivity on any of these lines for this line art at all and i think that was really really cool um so that was that was something that i thought was really 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 sweet and i just like that look a lot so i don't know if you guys can agree but i like that look it just looks really really clean for to me for some reason it looks really clean it looks really organized i, I just like it a lot um, and something else, I've talked about this before, but anytime you're doing something that's a bigger project like this, that isn't just like, you know, a couple lines here and there or whatever, but there's a kind of a lot of things going on in this, uh, in this scene here. So when, whenever you have something that's like that, my recommendation, something that will help you massively, and this is extremely underrated. It's, it's one of those things that no one really talks about, but they kind of just like do it and no one says, Hey, you should do this. Use different layers. <laughs> even for like even for small things i mean not not just for big things like oh the characters in the foreground and the backgrounds in the background no use different layers on everything that intersects with each other so for instance those socks are on a different layer than the floor is and then you know the phone is on a different layer than actually the phone's not on a different layer than anything because they intersect everything but you guys get the idea if it's intersecting with something put it on a different layer so you can always go back move things Get rid of them if you don't want them anymore. Move them around. Who knows? Just put them on a different layer. Just trust me. It makes things so much easier, especially like I said, when you start coloring things, when you want to, you know, when you want to go back and change something, maybe. Um, and that brings me to my last thing that I uh, that I really, really want to make sure that I talk about was um, we talk about color a lot um, on the channel. We talked about color and the types of colors and you know, not 100% saturation and whatever else, but. Um, I want to. I kind of wanted to talk about just color in general. So for this, I really didn't want to do a lot of shading, and I wanted it to be as simple as is possible. And you'll see when I do the color here in a second. Um, you can see it's literally just flat color. There's no gradients. There's no lighting. There's no cell shading. There's nothing. So um, the really important thing to me was to keep a really consistent look. That's why I did what I did with the line art. I wanted it to be all very, very similar thickness. And then, like I said, I wanted to kind of keep that consistent theme. And I wanted to use colors that I felt fit together. So I didn't use that many colors, number one. Um, and number two, the colors that I did use are super soft. Super, super soft. So the thing that I'm kind of getting to here is I feel like less is more sometimes. So a lot of the times I feel like people get like bogged down or overwhelmed with a lot of different colors. And every single color, every single thing that's colored in their piece is like a different hue, different saturation, different value, different color, whatever. And sometimes I feel like that can kind of bite you in the butt, you know what I mean? So I think the best way to kind of approach things sometimes is to keep a, a palette of just maybe like five, ten different colors. Um, and obviously the bigger your scene is, the more colors you're going to have. But for this, it's just a bed, a guy wearing a shirt and a wall, you know. Um, and a phone. So I thought I could kind of get away with reusing a lot of the same colors, which I did. So I, 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 I listen, I just put it out there. I feel like less is more sometimes. So if you, let's say you have a bed sheet and you have a, 
a lamp. I I would I didn't in this specific case with the bed sheet and the lamp, but what I'm saying is I like to reuse those colors. It it, it gives a nice cohesive look in my opinion i feel like oh wow that color's there and it's right there it looks like they kind of belong together um so that's just something that i do uh, like personally I, I really enjoy making things in the scene the same color as long as they're not touching each other for instance i wouldn't put a, a desk the same color as the lamp that's sitting on the desk you know i would i would make sure they're then a bit further apart from each other than directly on top of each other it keeps a nice consistent like cohesive look to me it kind of all blends together in a very nice way where it's like oh that looks familiar there and there and there and there it's kind of like an eight box of crayons you know back when we were kids you'd always have to use very similar colors and sometimes if you got really good at it you would just you know use those eight colors and that was all you got you know so that's something that i really like um doing in any kind of thing that i make actually any piece any you know even 3d art i like doing that same thing as well so just keep the colors consistent a lot of the times and if you want to change them just change the the value of them keep the hue the same you know don't 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 try to completely change the color to a whole different color just darken it you know maybe add a little bit of blues a little bit of you know warmer colors cooler colors and then just change the value a little bit and i think that works wonders um like for instance this red that i'm using here on the phone i use that same red for the exclamation point and for the battery logo um when I could have just used two different red colors there or two different colors in general, like I could have made the exclamation point yellow and I could have made the battery red or whatever, but I typically just like keep the, keeping things very cohesive. So that's just something else that I wanted to, to kind of talk about because I haven't really talk, touched on that too much before about using similar colors in different parts of the image. Um, and finally, the, <laughs> the other thing that I want to talk about was um, just the just the, the way that I kind of had fun with this a bit. So I recently talked about having fun while you're making art or else you won't really feel the art the way you really should, the way that, you know, art is best done just by having fun and just kind of throwing it to the wind and seeing, you know, what happens, um, not over processing everything you do. But um, I like having fun with with art. So I just went ahead and I kind of added some things that I thought were funny like um like the jaws <laughs> i recreated the jaws poster um which i just thought was that's just a nice touch for no reason so essentially what i'm saying is just kind of fill out the space you know i, I could have just had it as oh he's just laying in a bed but i added socks a little shirt there whatever that is and then a charger you know i added the jaws poster all oh, that's completely unnecessary it just kind of fills the room out and makes it look like it's lived in you know the glass of water as well so try not to like hyper focus or fixate on just the story you want to tell essentially um kind of also think about, yeah, well, this kind of makes the scene feel a little bit more homey, a little bit more personal. And that's what all those items do, the socks, the poster, the, you know, whatever, what have you. Um, kind of just, you know, like I said, have some fun with it, you know, fill the space. I kind of thought things looked a little blank in some areas. So I, I kind of, I kind of just put something there, you know, um, but don't overdo it. Sometimes you want to keep a nice clean look. You don't want to, you don't want to add too many things to the space and you'll clutter it. Um, you're clearly like the visual eye candy, you know, you want someone to look at a specific thing, but just kind of add some things here and there, have some fun with it, do something funny, you know, enjoy, enjoy your, enjoy your arting essentially. But um, yeah, I hope you guys and gentlemen enjoy this first comic of hopefully many. I, I really enjoyed this. I want to do more complex comics, more, you know, not just this guy laying in the bed, you know, actual dialogue bubbles or whatever else. But this is a really nice first comic to kind of to kind of go off of. So hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it as much as I did. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.